is for you the ambience now in New York? What is the context? How did you went through this lockdown and this nightmare of uh, the, pand the pandemic? Yeah, um, well, not to rub it in, but New York has been really fantastic, I have to say, since about September. We were able to reopen the gallery in July in, with a limited capacity. And um, then we opened a show with Gabriela Rosco in September that was very well received. Um, you know, and I'm telling everyone that I work with, my clients that are outside of New York, that it's just a wonderful time to come. And a lot of them did, did come in the fall to visit. Uh, you, can all the, you can go to any restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> you know, as long as you make a reservation, you can stay. The hotels are very reasonably priced right now. The museums are open. The galleries are open. Um, it's been okay. I feel bad saying that because I know you guys have a totally different reality. And we had in March, April, May, June, it was horrible here. I mean, it was just horrible. Um, but then it got better and um, we're, we're doing fine. So. And in, in terms of business, how was it during the last year? So I think like everyone, we all had this moment in the beginning of the pandemic, like, is this the end of life as we know it? And then slowly, I think the auctions in July did a lot to bolster people's confidence, even very seasoned collectors, seeing that they did well, really kind of like underlying the strength of the market. And then starting in the summer and heading through the fall, it's been very strong. For you? I mean, for mm -hmm. the galleries? Yes. Okay. Yes. And so... You decided to organize a one-woman show. Yes, we did. Well, I don't know if you know, we have a history of organizing one-person shows at Freeze New York. So everyone from Tino Segal to Jan Wo to William Kentridge, Giuseppe Pannone, Henri Sala. And we had planned this presentation with Annette for the last Freeze. So I guess that would be, yeah, Freeze of 2020. And so we just wanted to continue with um, that project. You know, at any given year, when we're thinking about what we want to show at the fair, we think about what an artist has available. And, you know, Marion really felt strongly that she wanted to showcase Annette in a bigger way in the United States, not just in the context of the gallery program, but in the, you know, in this fair context, where under normal circumstances, many more people would see the presentation than they would at the gallery. Yeah. And what yeah. about the fact that uh, foreigners can, can't come to New York? It's a concern, but I think given our specific interest in promoting Annette in the United States, uh, I think we'll, you know, we'll be able to achieve that. 